Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to see how to edit and update data in PHP. So let's get started. So here we have the code which you have fetched the data and here is the output. Let us start with the code now. Here I'm going to add one more table heading and call it action and here just copy and paste we are going to add a button over here uh, a and in the href we are going to say edit.php and here I'm going to say edit and I'm going to add a class over here class btn btn success okay so here when we click this edit button it has to go to the edit.php page with the id so we are going to concatenate the id in this url itself so here say id equals and just copy and paste this copy and paste it over here so let us check the output first go and reload so you can see edit when i click edit should be able to get this edit php id equal to 1 because the id is 1 so let me pass this 8 1 click id and edit so you'll get id equal to 8 so now let us write the code to update the data let's create a file first at the name edit.php edit.php and the design we are just going to use this add form thing add data and the same fields we are going to edit and update right so we can use the same form over there so we'll go to the create.php and copy the code and paste it here in the edit.php. So we'll change the title here. Say update data into database. And here we'll write the code for the fetching of data. So open PHP, close PHP. Here first we'll write the if condition to test if the ID is available or not in the URL. Say if dollar underscore get id and we'll use the is set function to check if it is available so say if is set and here we'll write the code and else echo something went wrong okay so if anyone tries to access this edit.php file directly with the url it will show a message called something went wrong so here let us write the query so dollar query say so select star from table name that is users where id equal to dollar id okay so put this in a single quote and create a variable here dollar id equal to dollar underscore get of id okay so we have taken the id from the url and we are fetching the data of that id so now we'll write the query run query run mysqli query and pass the connection that is dollar con and we'll just copy the connection from here from the code.php just copy and paste it here so this is the connection and the query we have to pass here say dollar query okay and it with semicolon so now we have to check if the data exists or not so if my sqli num rows function of dollar query run is greater than zero so here we are checking if the data exists or not so if it is existing then we'll write the code else echo no data found okay so here if the data is there we have to fetch it using the for each loop so for each dollar query run as dollar row so let's divide the php here and php 
and we will paste the form inside that so cut and paste it here okay just align the form and here for the name we have to give the value here value equal to open php close php echo dollar row of name similarly for everything you have to give so just copy this and paste it here row of email here and for the contact number say phone number and the button name this is the insert button we have copied so let's rename the button to update button and we'll change the text say update okay so let us check the output now and reload the page so when i click on edit so i'm getting this data here now i want to give the full name here om prakash and when i click on update it has to update okay so we will write the code now so go to code.php and right if is set dollar underscore post of the button name here okay so we'll take the button name copy and paste it here so here what we are going to do is first we'll just fetch the data like we had done for the insert we'll just take it from the form copy and paste that we have just given this variable names and taken the input from the user and now we are going to write the query to update the data so write the query equals and write the query update users set name equal to we have to give this variable name here copy and within single quotes give you a variable comma email equal to dollar email comma phone number equals to within single quotes give you a variable name that is contact number okay copy and paste it so here we have to give the condition where id equals to the id which we are going to take so here you have to give dollar id for that and in the edit.php give a field here input type equal to hidden and name equal to id and the value for that just copy and paste the same thing and it will record the id row of id so this id we are going to take it over here dollar underscore post of id and we are going to say where id equal to within single quotes give dollar id okay so we have written the query so let us write the function to run the query so i'll create a variable query run and mysqli query and in this you have to pass your connection dollar con that is over here you can see the connection we have given here so dollar con comma the query okay so end it with a semicolon and now we will check if dollar query run so if this is successfully running so we'll say dollar underscore session of status equals and we'll say updated successfully else just copy and paste the same thing and change the text over there okay so say something went wrong and redirect it to the index page so header location colon index dot php copy and paste it here also okay so now let us test the code so we'll go to a browser and here this is the index page so name is om i'm going to update it to the full name okay so edit 
and say Prakash click on update so you can see hey updated successfully and you can see the data is updated over here so thank you for watching this video guys please like the video and subscribe to the channel thank you